You're listening to the October 26th, 2024 reading of Blossom Goodchild's Channeling with the Federation of Light. Good morning. Okay, I'm going to pose a question with a little trepidation, as sometimes I feel the answer won't come. How's that to start this conversation with trust? Someone sent in a very good question. Here it is. Okay, here we are, the strongest of the strong. But what about the paedophiles, the murderers, the rapists, the criminals and thugs? Are they the strongest of the strong because they're here on earth at the same time that we are? I think the FOL once told us that many, many souls wanted to be on earth at this time, but not all could make the cut. So why would some of these precious soul slots be given to the lot I just mentioned? We all know the behaviours they typify are not what we should emulate. And the answer is? Good morning, Blossom. And to each and every one who receives understandings from the words we bring forth. In reply to the worthy question, not all that are upon this planet at this time are part of the agreement made to change it, to lift it back into its higher vibration. It has taken many eons of time for your world to reach the state that it has. As many of you are aware, this is not the first time, and yet this is the first time that the upliftment, the switch across, takes place from the ground up. In times such as Atlantis and Lemuria and others, it was decided that intervention must take place because the souls residing on earth at that time had lost the plot, would we say, to a degree that was taking a slippery slope downwards, and a refresher was put into place. Not all souls had fallen for the greed of the good life, and by this we mean succumbed to using powers for self-attainment and pleasure, opposed to intentions for the whole. Many escaped to new lands via ocean and teleportation to start again and bring new light into these places. However, much was destroyed in order to rid the negative energy and restart the program. Over time, a long period of time, souls who found themselves in need of greed and self-satisfaction to the detriment of all others found this planet to be a good base to bring about such needs. These original beings, with up to no good in mind, came from other places and set themselves up for the long haul of bringing the beautiful earth that is yours into a place of all that it has become today. These souls do not come from the place of the strongest of the strong volunteers that we speak of. Yet understand there sadly have been souls who do come from this place, yet have fallen into the traps set by the darkness, unbeknown what they would become until it was too late. Such souls require your love, not hate. So, we would say that not all that are on your planet at this time would come under the category of the strongest of the strong. Yet you've often said, each and every one of you, etc. This is so. Each and every one of you who find themselves in the position of having to be the strongest of the strong. The thing is, Blossom, each and every one of you know who you are. Yet, as the gentleman asked... Why were not more of the stronger ones chosen to come down and do their thing instead of the rapists and murderers, etc.? Oh, dearest Blossom, for so many reasons. Please name a few. Contrast. Forgiveness. Understanding. Contrast. A bit drastic a choice. Your planet is one of opposites. Night, day. Black, white, up, down. Murderers, stroke, lifesavers, rapists, strokes, caregivers. That's not quite right, yet you know what I mean. 
And you know from past conversations with us, Blossom, that not all is as it seems. One finds it difficult to understand why such atrocities are allowed to take place. And yet, everything has its place at this time. That, my friends, is going to trigger a lot of people one way or another. We are telling you how it is. Whether people agree or are offended, we can do little to appease. So let's recap. Not everyone down here at this time has volunteered to be part of the Tribe of Light. Some are, and will, remain oblivious to what's going on. Is that correct? No. For as your now moments move on, more and more shall wake up. If they recognize themselves to be the strongest of the strong, then they know their mission upon earth. Others will not awaken until vast changes have taken place. Would we say when the transformation is in the making? Some, not until the new road has been laid out for them. The strongest of the strong are to lead many across the bridge. We have spoken much of this. I'm just thinking about all this, and a big question came into my head. When a soul returns to the earth plane, surely they don't choose to come down as any of the above mentioned. Who'd do that? Correct, they do not. Yet, through choices, through illness, they find themselves on the wrong path. Yet, keep in mind, for many, they do not feel that the path is wrong, for it feels right for them. To hurt another can only stem from programming and sick minds. How can damaging another in any way come from a well mind? As your world transforms into its higher place of living, giving, and blessedness, there shall be no place for this sickness, for this darkness shall be gone. There is no place for such things in the world that is to take over. Yet sorry to be the party pooper. Rape, murder, and child abuse has been present through the ages, has it not? No. There have been times upon your planet when this was not so. History tells us otherwise. It would assist you greatly if you let go of that which you are told is history. I'm hearing more and more of the lies we've been told regarding times gone by. Again, Blossom. It is not for us to expand on much that takes place, and is to take place upon your planet. Why not? Because the plan is taking its course as it was designed to. To reveal things ahead of their time would change the way they turn out, due to manipulation of thought and energetic control that may interfere. You see, Blossom, each soul upon your planet is here for a reason playing out their role as part of a plan. In order to see this plan emerge, the roles may not always be understood, yet are necessary to complete the outcome. So people could be playing a role as part of a plan. They know this, yet they're not here to play the part of the strongest of the strong. We could put a huge spanner in the works by saying, Maybe they would have to be the strongest of the strong to fulfill a role that very few would volunteer for in order to wake many up to the truth. There are so many questions one could ask. This is where my mind turns into a knotted ball of string because from the perspective of our mind's understanding within this human form, we cannot make head nor tail of most of it. It's all such a huge conundrum. It is indeed, Blossom. And often we find ourselves in a position of not knowing how to explain to you certain things, within a nutshell, because they are too complex and wouldn't be understood out of the nutshell, either. Well, I wonder when I read this back if any of it will make any sense. I tried. <laughs> As you say, all of it, each and every bit, when whittled down to the core, is all too mind-blowing. We would care to correct you there, Blossom, for this is not so. 
everything, all of it, when whittled down to the core, is love. We may try to answer these questions to satisfy the inquisitive mind, yet, understanding fully that you are love is all you need to do upon this planet at this time. All that is to be revealed will be done so in divine timing. Keep the light that you are shining brightly. Let go of much that confuses. Easier said than done. When you're down here in the thick of it, it becomes difficult not to at least try to make sense of a lot that comes our way. And yet, is it not so, Blossom, Then, when you cannot do so, you have to resort back to that which you know makes sense. Be love. Live your life in, as, through, of, love. There is so much that cannot and will not make sense at this time, and therefore it is a waste of your precious energy to try and work something out and understand it that is not compatible to do so at this time in the position you are in. However, when things change, and they are doing, many pennies will drop into place. Meanwhile, until such time, keep on persevering. Keep on bringing through love from the true place you know within you. Your home. Your home is love. Your home is truth. You are nothing other than love. You are always home, living in your truth. Deep inside of you, you know this, because you can feel it. Sometimes it gets buried by the everyday trials that souls are faced with. Some are in much deeper situations than others. And yet, dearest Blossom, and all souls who come across our energy, is it not when times get so very tough that the strength comes to the surface? It doesn't always have a choice. Yes, it does doesn't make it any less painful. Yes, it does. You're right, it does. When we recognize our own strength shining through in many circumstances presented, it does ring a bell within the heart and helps us to remember that indeed we are the strongest of the strong. Lordy Lord, we need to be... (laughs) <laughs> Thanks, peeps. In gratitude, in loving service, I am. A lovely lady who goes by the name of Aria Angel came across a saying that said, We are now turning from star seeds into star blossoms. <laughs> and that inspired her to create these lovely new designs on the tribe of light. Uh, the light has won t shirts. Please go to the link below um, to, to take a good look and hopefully purchase some and shine your light wearing these t shirts. <laughs> Many thanks indeed. Bye bye.